In this video I'll show you how to clone a VirtualBox hard drive. Unfortunately with VirtualBox hard drives you can't just copy and paste them and try to reuse them in the same operating system because the hard drives have a unique identifier. And So what we're going to do is we're going to clone it using the command line tools that are available through VirtualBox. Two windows that I currently have open show us two key points. One is where the actual command line is. This first one here is in the C Program Files Oracle VirtualBox folder and in this folder you're going to find the VBox Manage. Now this is a Windows XP operating system with the VirtualBox 4 installed. The location may slightly be different depending on the version and the operating system you've got this installed in. And the second location is the actual location of my VDI file that I want to copy or my hard drive that I want to copy and you can see that there. To begin with we'll open up the command prompt and I need to navigate to the location here of the tools. So this first location I'm going to navigate to is this uh, C Program Files Oracle VirtualBox. So we'll go ahead and type in cd space c colon backslash program files backslash oracle backslash virtualbox and hit enter and now I'm in that location. This gives me the ability to use that tool now. So I can go ahead and type in vbox manage. I'm going to go ahead and hit space after that. Part of the tool uh, is the clone HD command. So I'm going to go ahead and type in clone HD and that's going to go ahead and clone the hard drive. Now the next part I need to have into this command is the actual location of the hard drive I wish to clone. So I'll hit space and it's important that you have quotes around this because if there's a space within the characters of the file path it will cause the program not to run correctly. So we're going to go ahead and put a start to double quote there type in C colon backslash and then I'm going to need to fill in this location here. And so once we've got this file path in here, this is the C documents and settings, the username which is student, VirtualBox space VMs, uh, then the Windows XP folder, that's the name of the virtual machine I created, and then the hard drive or the VDI file was Windows XP.VDI. And so I've got the ending quote there. And I'm going to go ahead and space. The second part of this command is going to give us the location of the copy or cloned hard drive. And so I'm going to go ahead and just type in clone.vdi and it's going to indicate to me that that's my clone. You can name it whatever you wish. And I'll go ahead and put that in quotes as well. Uh, if there were any spaces within that name, you would want to have quotes around it. I'll go ahead and hit enter. And it's going to begin the process here of cloning this hard drive. Now, I did not put a file path in this clone.vdi. So what we're going to have here is going to put it in the default location wherever my prompt is located, which is currently in this VirtualBox folder. So when this finishes, I should have the clone.vdi located in my VirtualBox folder. And now that it is finished, you can see that it has copied my hard drive. It's given myself a unique identifier, a unique, uh, universal unique identifier for the new hard drive. And we're going to go ahead and look for this hard drive. And there it is under the clone.vdi. So that was able to copy a hard drive using the command line tools to make a duplicate or a clone of the hard drive with a unique identifier to be used more than once within the operating system.